everybody. Welcome back to Prescription Bourbon. I'm DMC from Louisville, Kentucky. Today we're in a great head-to-head matchup with a 12-year-old Irish whiskey versus a 12-year-old Scotch whiskey. All right, so what we've got going against each other today is Redbreast 12 versus Boonahaben 12. A little bit of info on these. Redbreast 12 is a 12-year-old single pot still whiskey from Ireland, which is uh, triple distilled in pot stills, and it is made up of 50% malted barley and 50% unmalted barley. So going up against that is Boonahaben 12, which is an Isla Scotch. Uh, it is an unpeated Scotch, and it is a single malt Scotch. So by definition, a single malt Scotch is a pot distilled with 100% malted barley. Both of these are aged in X sherry casks. Uh, Boonahaben is, is aged in a combination of X bourbon casks and X sherry casks whereas Redbreast is aged entirely in uh, Olorosa, ex Olorosa sherry casks. The proof on these is 80 proof, 40% ABV on the Redbreast, and 46.3% ABV on the Bunahaba. So that comes in at 92.6. So a little bit of a proof difference, 80 versus 92 point something. And the price on these is, is about the same. Um, red breast, you know, you can, you can pick it up for around $60. So sometimes I see it between $55 and $60. And Boonahaben is usually about $55. And, you know, I've seen it for between $50 and $55 sometimes. So I know prices vary depending on where you're at. But, um, you know, red breast 12 may be slightly higher than the, than the Boonahaben. But uh, pretty much in the same, same price point. All right. I've got these poured already. I've got these glasses mixed up. Um, yeah, don't know which one's which, but, um, we'll, we'll see, but, uh, I'll call this glass A and we'll start with the nose. So go on the nose on glass A. All right. This one has very light nose. I am picking up a little bit of, of maltiness on it. A little bit of a butter cookie aroma. Got a little bit of fruit on that also. I would call it call it an orchard fruit. Probably probably a little bit of an apple smell to it. But, um, yeah, very 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 light, very delicate on the nose. So I'll give it a glass B nose. Definitely much stronger nose on B. Smell that maltiness under there. I'm also smelling um, some more deeper aromas, possibly some wood. I think that cherry aroma comes through more, which is, is a different fruit aroma. It's, it's more along the you know, cherry, raisin type of aroma. Hmm, nice. So, you know, I would say a little light on the nose though also. I mean, definitely stronger than A. A has a very, very delicate nose, but um, yeah. Both very pleasant on the nose, so we'll get, go in and give them a taste with A. Cheers. Yeah, it has some some spice on there. The spice is on the um, top of the tongue. Um, you got a little warming going down. Um, there is some some maltiness in there. Um, little, little sweet, little fruitiness. Uh, the fruit reminds me more of a tropical, tropical taste. Um, almost a hint of coconut, but um, you know, definitely light on that. Um, the spice and the warmth is is stronger than that. Um, very pleasant. Going for a taste on glass B. Cheers. Yeah, 
that's got a good amount of spiciness on it also. The spiciness is on the tongue, on the top of the tongue, but it's also um, on the on the mouth uh, sides, top of the mouth. So, it, you know, overall more of a mouth, mouth coating, mouth experience on that. Some sweetness there also. Um, you know, kind of some honey. Um, nice warmth. Um, maybe a little bit of vanilla on that. So, yeah. Both both nice. Um, Glass B seems a little a little warmer. Um, but um, they both had. Both had about the same amount of flavor, both very good flavors. And um, yeah, the aroma on B is definitely more powerful. Um, yeah. I'm gonna grab some water and I'll go through and, and taste them again and give you my, my results. Yeah, one thing I didn't mention, the um, you know, Irish pasta whiskey, it, you know, is by definition, um, you know, no color added. Um, and Bunahaben, does say on the on the bottle that this is no coloring added and also not chill filtered on the Bunov 12. So, all right, just grabbed a sip of water. I'm gonna go through and taste them again and give you my final results. All right, the spiciness is not as pronounced. Sipping this one first, it still has some some spice on the, on the top of the tongue. Um, still an overall mouth, very good mouth coating. Um, good flavor going down. Um, but it definitely has a, a darker taste and aroma. The sweetness and the aroma is more of a, of a plum or a raisin, I would say. Um, very nice. So actually, I think A is spicier. Um, I know I, I had spice on it when I went to A, B, and then B had, I thought, more spice. Um, but I think it was just following A. Uh, when I cleansed my palate, come back through, did B, A. You know, B had a little bit of spice, but but A, but a has, has quite a bit of spice. It's it's a little thinner on the on the on the tongue. Same amount of warmth. Lighter, sweeter, you know, more delicate on the aroma. I'd say more delicate on the taste too, but very, very pleasant. Wow. Um, I, don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to pick one of these. has just as much spice on it. I think it just depends on which direction I taste them. I think the spice levels are probably about the same. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna have to give it to B. I think, um, I think it wins across the board. I think it definitely won on the aroma. Um, A's aroma is wonderful, but it's super delicate. B's aroma was just more powerful, just more there. Taste-wise, um, and finish, B, B has more of those also. So B wins on the taste, on the on the aroma, on the finish. So, um, so yeah, definitely B's going to take it today. I mean, these are both delicious. There's, I mean, splitting hairs here, honestly. Let's see what we have. So... A is the red breast, and which means B is the blue hobby. So, um, I started suspecting that, but um, um, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, B obviously has has more more alcohol in it, more of a proof point. Um, so it's um, 
know, 40% versus 46%. So, you know, 6% more alcohol, you know, being aged in both the ex bourbon and the ex uh, sherry casks, you know, it gets some, uh, I think probably some of that spiciness and, and some flavors like the vanilla, I don't think I said caramel, but there's, there is some underlying sweetness there um, that I, I was saying plum, raisin, which probably which you'd associate with the sherry, but um, you know, intermix with that um, bourbon barrels. I, I think that's that's just a real nice uh, you know s stew of some flavors there. So yeah, so I am going to pick Bunnhaven 12 over Redbreast 12. So which means Scotch wins today. So, I'd like to do some more of these uh, Scotch versus Irish whiskey battles in the future. Um, let me know what you think. If you've tried these, um, if you prefer one or the other, let me know. I mean, I know Redbreast 12 has a huge following. Um, I know there's cast strength versions of this out there. Um, I know Boonahaven 12 has a has a huge following, and there's certainly some cast strength scotches out there. So, yeah, you know, there's some other pairings I could do. But, um, yeah, let, let me know what you think. Um, appreciate any feedback. Uh, if you liked what you saw here, hit the like button. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Um, you know, if you're a returning uh, viewer, welcome back. If you're new here, you know, welcome. Uh, I appreciate you watching. Uh, remember, everybody, all bourbon is whiskey. But all whiskey is not bourbon. And all Irish whiskey comes from Ireland. And all Scotch whiskey comes from Scotland. Cheers.